Let us go to Chris, Wichita, Kansas, the great KNSS. Go! Mr. Levin, it's great to uh, have the opportunity to talk with you. First time caller, always enjoy listening to you. I've been listening to you since uh, you wrote Men in Black, and I lived down Whoa. in Texas. That's a long so, time ago. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I love love listening to you. My kids love listening to you. I I just had the question, you know, where is my president at? Here it is, the you know, global things are going on, and he's the one supposed to be getting that 3 a.m. phone call. Mr. President, it's 3 a.m. Where the hell are you at, you know? I don't, I well, don't I, I think they put, uh, you know, floodlights on the golf course. He's probably at the uh, seventh hole. I mean, I manage facilities, and if, you know, something goes wrong at 3 a.m., my butt's getting in the truck and heading down to the building to see what's going on and take care of it or heading across state to go take care of whatever may be, you know, the problem, storms or otherwise. And if I'm not there, my boss is going to be calling me or firing me or something, and I just don't get how he can get away with it, and the American people who are managing him let him get away from it. I don't know how we can stop him, and I'll be honest with you, uh, with these Republicans who surrender, but, who, who, but these Republicans who's, who've thrown every constitutional tool down the toilet. I mean, uh, it's a republic, not a direct democracy, so there's very damn little we can do about it. Except, and I'm not trying to annoy people, but I am somebody who's uh, committed to a, to a solution. Except what I've written about in the Liberty Amendments. There you go. All right, my brother. Thank you for your call. We appreciate it.